On Fridays, we talk about positive reappraisal, and today I'm going to describe it using a musical to illustrate it. The musical is The Fantastics. It's one of the longest running shows ever, and uh, it has a very small cast of a, a father and another father of a boy and a girl, and the boy and the girl fall in love and they want to run away and get married, and along comes this guy named El Gallo. And he promises them whirlwind adventure to and to you know fulfill their dreams. And instead, you know, chaos ensues. He puts them in some very uncomfortable and even risky situations. And they come home having learned that love is not so much about the excitement and the frivolity and the woohoo. It's it's about seeing the other person and the value they bring to your life. So it's a kind of a coming of age story uh, of these this boy and this girl coming through childhood, adolescence, and adulthood, and demonstrating through some like silly theatrical means some suffering along the way. It's artificially constructed in the context of the musical, but it's you know representative of things that happen in real life that are ridiculous and unexpected. So we begin with the girl in this state of like dreamy expectation. She thinks the whole world is her oyster. And she sings this song much more. I'd like to swim in a clear blue stream where the water is icy cold. She wants to swim in an icy cold river. But do you though? I mean, do you really? Have you considered how dangerous that actually might be? And even if you have safety measures in place, how deeply uncomfortable that would be. You'd like to do this thing you imagine so dreamy and sweet, but actually really hard, really, really unpleasant. Then go to town in a golden gown and to have my fortune told. Because having your fortune told is like a an exotic, mysterious experience, right? Just once, just once, just once before I'm old. Oh my god, when she says old, I think she means my age. I'd like to be not evil, but a little What does that even mean? I'd like to dance till two o'clock or sometimes dance till dawn. Or if the band could stand it, just go on and on and on. Okay, I have danced till two o'clock. I've even danced till dawn. And, um, you know, and it was amazing and the next day was like a hangover it was like a dance hangover where i was just chugging tea and water and and ibuprofen i actually in that period of my life where i was dancing a lot called it vitamin i because dancing has consequences it's romantic and wonderful but um it's not without a cost just once just once before the chance is gone. She's got all these dreamy ideas about what the world is going to be for her when she goes on these adventures and how wonderful and she's going to live. And in the end, the scales fall away and she sees clearly and they reprise a love song with her and the boy and they understand that they are equal partners and it's not you know one person suffering alone and the other it's not a, yeah they grow through suffering which is positive reappraisal is the understanding that when you face a challenge it is genuinely an opportunity for learning and growth and there's a little thing at the end 
that sums the whole thing up perfectly. It's El Gallo. He turns and addresses the audience. And he says, There is a curious paradox that no one can explain. <gasps> I can explain it. Who understands the secret of the reaping of the grain? Who understands why spring is born out of winter's laboring pain? Or why we must all die a bit before we grow again? I do not know the answer. I only know it's true. I hurt them for that reason, and myself a little bit too. The answer is positive reappraisal. It's because it's genuinely true that when we experience hardship and challenge, it's a growth opportunity. I would never tell you that when something bad happens, that it's so good for you. You should be so grateful that that bad thing happened. You, you don't have to be. But it will be good for your well-being if you can remember that it's worth it. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.